Can I order exactly what the person in front of me ordered? Interesting way to order. It is strange, I know. It's gotta be the worst breakfast I have ever had. Let's do a bite of that. What am I gonna do, man? This is gonna be so messy. It really is a strange way to order food. I am doing another one of those, letting the person in front of me decide what I eat for 24 hours. So we're gonna do breakfast, lunch, dinner, but this is the Canadian edition. And my first stop is Harvey's, and I'm, I'm kind of starting this a little bit late. And I'm a little uh, scared uh, because it is uh, 10.35 and the problem is, I'm not sure if the person ahead of me is going to be ordering lunch or breakfast. Uh, Harvey's has been around for a really long time in Canada. 1959 in Richmond Hill, Ontario and employs over 7,000 people across this great nation of ours. And uh, let's pull up to the drive through and see what the person ahead of us ordered. Well, can I have you, What can I get for you? Hi, uh, could I order exactly what the person in front of me ordered? I know it's strange. Two original burgers. Is that what they ordered? Two original burgers? We have the two for six promo right now. So they got two original burgers and put everything on it, including hot peppers. And that's what they ordered? That is exactly what they ordered. No drink? No. Okay, that's what I'll take then. <laughs> Anything else? That's it, apparently. Okay, it's $6.78, Charlotte. Thank Lenter. you. Well, there's my breakfast for you people. I know it's stupid. I'm, uh, I, again, I tried to get out as early as I could. Couldn't find the right restaurant. Hello. Interesting way to order. It is strange, I know. Crazy. Is there a reason behind it? Just for YouTube. Okay. It's called ordering what the person in front of you had for 24 hours. So I'm doing a Canadian version of it this time. So Harvey's is it. All right. <laughs> that will just be a couple minutes. Thank you. She's still laughing. She can't believe it. Can't believe they didn't get a drink. Hot peppers. Oh no, she's putting pickles on it. Ew. There we go. Thank you very much. Have a, your video. <laughs> have a great day. <laughs> All right, people, let's park it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are parked. This has got to be the worst breakfast I have ever had in my life. Not, not because of Harvey's, because the person in front of me must have been an early bird had his breakfast already, or her breakfast already, and decided to start lunch at 10.30 in the morning. Hot peppers for breakfast. Oh, my favorite thing was the lady thought this was hilarious. She's the first person to react like that. Other people are like, yeah, whatever. Okay, come on through. She was just like, that is the most interesting way to order food ever. I'm hoping it catches on. I'm hoping other people give it a shot. Look at the pickles, people. Pickles. Yeah, so we got the pickles, tomatoes, lettuce, uh, hot peppers, and onions. I can't see anything else on there. I can't see if he's put any type of... Oh, there it is. Uh, we got, it looks like mayo, possibly, and mustard. Let's dig in. Great burger, bad breakfast. Bad, bad. Ah. Oh. oh man. Starting a day off with burgers. Have you ever done that? Harvey's, I love you guys. I was just kind of hoping I get some type of a breakfast item. Does Harvey's even do breakfast? They should. Yeah, they got eggs and stuff. So I just looked it up. I don't think they do breakfast here. My bad. Last bite of burger one. Burger two. Let's clean up this mess, wait a bit of time, and then go to Mary Brown's for lunch.
All right, guys, it is 20 after 12, and I drove all the way up to Alliston. There is a, a Mary Brown's in Bradford. They don't have a drive-through, and the kids had just been let out from for lunch, and uh, the parking lot was just packed, full of teenagers. It was loud, lots of music. So we're gonna have to hang here for a minute, and we're just gonna have to wait for somebody to go through the drive-through. I was kind of hoping somebody, I think, you know what we're gonna do on this one? We're gonna go through, and I don't necessarily have to follow a car through now, but obviously somebody has gone through recently, right? So let's go through and uh, see what the last person ordered. You wanna try it? Let's go. That way you don't waste time, right? Just go through the drive-through. I'll do what JP did and just keep driving through and getting the same order in order. Silly JP. Thank you, Jane Mary Brown. Thank you. Hi, how you doing? I'm well, how are you? All right. Uh, could I have uh, the exact same thing the person in front of me ordered? Or well, the last person I went through the drive-thru ordered? I just started, so... C can you pull it up on the computer? Like, whoever ordered something on the drive-thru last? What was it? Do you know what? Oh, no, no. I just, uh, like, on the computer, does it say... It doesn't say anything. Okay. Okay, never mind. Thanks. All right, so that failed. So, we're going to have to wait till somebody goes through. So, the guy just came on. What? What? Sorry, I didn't get it. Uh, I just wanted to order whatever the last person that drove through ordered. Okay, hold well, on. This was the last person who ordered. Big Mary combo, the cater, and... Uh... Perfect. Okay. Let's do that. Let's do that. Sorry, Thanks. I didn't get it. I didn't catch it. No okay. Idea. All right, we're in business. Didn't have to wait too long. I, I guess I just confused the guy, and again, like he, like I said, he was, uh, just came on, so he didn't know what that last person, but he went on the computer and he found the last order. Good for you guys, Mary Brown. You guys rock. It really is a strange way to order food. Thank you, Grandma. All right, thank you, sir. Have a great day, sir. You too. Is Bye -bye. the bill in the bag? There's a copy of the bill. Perfect. Have a great day. All right, super nice guy. So glad that he could accommodate us. All right, let's park it. All right, people, we are parked. Get out the trusty tray. Let's check it out. We got the Big Mary, we got some taters. It's a small taters, I'm glad. And a Pepsi. Show the logo. Once again, I'm happy it wasn't a lot of food. Check out that tater. Mmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. But they're coated. Maybe in the same stuff. If you work at Mary Brown's, let us know if it's the same stuff you guys coat your chicken in. Because I'm not 100% sure. But check out those spices. Mm. Oh, it's crunchy. Crunchy, soft in the middle. Way to go, Mary Browns. Let me put that down for a sec. Check out, uh-oh, there is a pickle on my chicken. I'm also, I guess you gotta put that on top. Oh no, that's so funny. I put it over here to get out of the way. I like to pour my taters into the other side of my burger and make it a nice little package like that. Let's check out this. I haven't had a Big Mary's in a very, very long time. Mmm. Oh, super crunchy. Listen. Wow. Okay. So it looks like we have a dressing of some type. And look at that crispy, crunchy, Big Mary chicken chunk. Then we've got the pickle, more goo, and some lettuce. Shredded. Totally shredded lettuce. Let's do a bite of that. Mmm. Yeah. Fresh, moist chicken. Mmm. I'm glad we got a drink on this one. This would have been hard to eat. This restaurant was started in 1969 in Newfoundland which is on the uh, East Coast Island on, of Canada. There's 140 locations right across Canada, which is freaking awesome. And I asked you guys on my social media, which Canadian restaurants, fast food restaurants, did you want me to go to? Mary Brown's is one of them. Switch to the lady for dinner. Some people said smokes, but I'll have to do it on another one because I just don't, I don't want to eat four meals in a day. And poutine is a meal. So after taking a few bites, it is a spicy mayo, and it's starting to give me the kick. and starting to make me sweat a bit. Mm. 
Oh, got the pickle on that one. Pickle and chicken. I don't know, man. Don't know why it works. It works better than pickle and burger. That's just me. Let me know in the comments below if you're the same. Woo. Mary Brown's, you guys make great chicken. Let me know if you love Mary Brown's as much as I do. Mmm. That's good stuff right there. Last bite of the burger. Let's try these taters with some ketchup. Uh, I've eaten at Mary Brown's many times before, and I prefer their gravy. And you pour that on your taters. Oh, ho, ho, ho. check that out. Mm. Definitely good with ketchup. Oh. Let me put some more on. Look at that. Scratch it. Sniff it. The rest is mine. Oh, yeah. Last bite of a tater. Mm. Okay, two bites. Want to try for a free throw? Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Two points for Ken. Did it go in? Of course it did. All right, guys. I'm going to zip home, recharge all my stuff, uh, wait a bit, maybe cut the lawn or something, and then go have dinner at Swiss Chalet. Are you guys ready? Let's move it. It is dinner time and I am back in Bradford, Ontario, Canada at Swiss Chalet, another one of Canada's famous restaurants that spans coast to coast. And so this is not a fast food style restaurant, it's more of a sit down place, but they do have this big takeout door off to the side. So I'm gonna wait till somebody goes in, grabs some food and then comes out. I'll run in there and grab the same food, come back here and eat in front of you and eat in front of you. Now, let's just wait for a customer. Waiting, still waiting. Nothing yet. There is somebody driving up to the drive-thru as we speak. I'm not sure if you guys can see him. And they're going into the takeout spot. Let's go. Here's a strange request. Can I have exactly what they got? Does that sound good? Okay. All right, we are back in the car. So I followed a grandma and her grandson in. The kid got the half rack of ribs, smoky barbecue with fries, and the white dinner roll and then the mom did the double leg veggies and multi-grain roll another very expensive day we got our fries on top oh my is that a lot of food or what yeah it's a lot of food we're gonna have to like go back and forth i'm glad he didn't get ribs and a whole bunch of other like ribs and chicken because i basically have ribs chicken dinner chicken and veggies and fries oh mm. golden hot it's not about their fries. They're not the nicest looking fries in the world, but they taste really good. I'm not sure what it is. This type of oil they use or something. I'm so glad the kid ordered something. Some type of drink. Probably screwed. When's the last time you had a 7-Up? Let me know in the comments below. Wow, it's been a while. What am I going to do, man? This is going to be so messy. Check that out. The leg and thigh, this is grandma's meal. You can scratch that. You can sniff it. The rest is mine. Oh boy. Cholesterol through the roof. That didn't look like as white a bun as I thought, but that's definitely the multigram. Looks like it came with extra sauce. Why do you need extra sauce? Oh, it's just the uh, Swiss Chalet sauce, show the logo. I know people who drink this. I guess it's like soup. It's like a soupy dip soup. Like I wouldn't dip my, my ribs in that. I'm just afraid as soon as I get into this, I'm gonna get so messy. Screw it, just go for it, man. Just go for it, I only have so much time. Taking the wife out to a movie. Right off the boom. Can't be late for the wife. 
Happy wife. Happy life. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, it's so nice when it falls apart like that. Wow. Oh, are you hungry? Mm-hmm. It's gonna be all over my face, sorry. A very expensive dinner. It bugs me I sat here for so long, nobody goes in. A grandma and a kid go in. I'm thinking, this might be my only chance for a while. And then right after that, a guy walks in. Wow. After a lot of meat, it's so good. Mm-hmm. I'm so glad you like these videos, guys. One dinner almost down. This is it all over my face? Oh, well, not as bad as I thought. I don't like getting the bottle all messy. Mm. Should I eat the buns last or first? When I watch competitive eaters like Matt Stoney, Farious Pete, and my buddy Natter, I always watch which items they eat first. And I think when they like pull apart a burger, they always eat the burger, like the meat first. I guess because it's, they can get it down and then they eat the, the condiments and stuff last. It'd be a good thing to remember at this point. Not that I'm, I'm I don't, don't want to speed eat, but. I had a very good day, guys. This was a lot of fun to shoot. Love flying my drone, getting those shots for you. Oh yeah, oh wow. Uh, that is so good. Mm. So savory. Mm. Mm. Rotisserie chicken. Wow. Some squeaky noise. I think it's somebody pushing like a cart. There's like a food basics over there. Grocery store. And I was thinking that eventually it would stop. There's only so far you can push a cart, but there's something else going on. And it's just annoying. Like, stop pushing the cart round and round in circles. What is that noise? Oh, you know what it is? It's uh, even further along, they're, they're doing construction and it's a bulldozer and that the metal noise of his track. And it just stopped. I think somebody just shot him. <laughs> Shut up! It's like, put some lube on it, buddy. Mm. Once again, I wish I waited maybe another hour or two. But I promised my wife I'd take her out. So I'm going to have to buy her something to eat. <laughs> and then go to the movie. I'm not sure what movie we're going to see. Hey man, nice buns. Once again, I think I've hit my limit. When I got through those ribs so fast, I'm thinking, oh, this is going to be a cakewalk. I might have to finish the rest later. That is part of the rules. You've got 24 hours to eat all the food. You don't have to necessarily eat it in one sitting. And that might help me out with my date. I have to pick up in like five minutes. I'm gonna call a timeout. I will be able to finish this. I'm gonna go on my date night with my wife and I'll finish off the rest of this when I get home. I'll reheat it all. I've got the fries, uh, the chicken leg, uh, the sauce, veggies. So. We'll see you at home. All right, guys, let's continue this charade, eating up our fries. Oh, it was coleslaw or something. I thought it was another gravy. Hmm. Yeah, eat it. All right. I'm just not a huge coleslaw lover. After eating a fry, and then going to coleslaw. Not fun. My dog wants some. 
You can't have any. No. <laughs> this is a gravy. Some people put it on their grate, on their fries. Some people on their kitchen, chicken, Ch kitchen. There we go. Oh, I should have poured it on my veggies. I'm gonna finish the challenge. Just getting sick of eating. Good food, but. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, look your look your lips on that one, buddy. It definitely helps the vegetables go down with a nice piece of rotisserie chicken. All right, guys, halfway through shooting this that night, uh, the battery on the mic ran out, so I had no more audio for the rest of this video. So I thought I'd do a quick voiceover. Just thanking you guys for watching these videos. Really appreciate it. Uh, if you love these videos, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to click the notification bell. But if you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. And we'll see you next time on another Ken Domic letting the person in front of you decide what to eat for 24 hours video just for you. See you guys later. Bye. Thank you.